Swinger! It's like a war cry. So the tradition says that Shorty George Snowden was actually the one who created the swing out. He was dancing Charleston with his partner in the Savoy Ballroom. They ended up making a mistake. His partner separated from him and he was still hanging onto her hand. They both fell down to their knees by accident, looked at each other and said, swing out? I'm sure that's exactly how the story went. So the swing out is one of those fundamental moves that you have to know in order to get the golden bracelet of Lindy Hop. You know which bracelet I'm talking about. It's like going to those events and you gotta audition to get to the next level. Instead of getting to the advanced or the Frankie Manning level, you're actually getting a bracelet from East Coast Swing to Lindy Hop, officially. I remember the first time that I learned the swing out. It was hard. Some of you remember those times. We had the old, old swing out. We had the new version of the swing out, West Coast version of the swing out, boy style version of the swing out. I'm sure there was no more versions of the swing out at the Savoy because obviously there wasn't a person named Savoy at the Savoy. There was hundreds of people there, so there couldn't have been just like, what? Well, that's a whole nother story. I remember trying to learn all of this as a brand new Lindy Hopper, being completely frustrated because every teacher thought their way was the right way. But then there was this voice in my mind that was like, no. There is no quitting. You must learn the swing out. Then, and only then, a Lindy Hopper you will be. Here's the catch. The swing out is more than just a move. It's a series of multiple things happening with shapes and momentum. If you end up hearing someone explain all of those different things, you can actually lose touch of what the real thing is that's actually making it work. There's something unseen that's there. There's a simple way to learn the swing out, and there's a hard way to learn the swing out. There's a difference between what the swing out actually looks like and how it actually functions. It's like the difference between rules and principles. Rules can only work in certain places at certain times with certain types of people, but principles can apply everywhere no matter what the rules are. There's some principles behind the swing out that can actually make it work with any person's style on the planet. No one could explain this to me. But don't worry, my young Padawan learner. I've invested over 10,000 hours of social dancing to figure this out. I traveled all around the world. I took from all the different teachers that are out there. And then I went and danced with over 50,000 people. What I've done is put together a simple format to help you see through the Lindy Hop's complexities. Hop? Hops? Hop. If you don't know the swing out, then you really don't know Lindy Hop. So what are you waiting for? Let's fix this problem. If you like what you've seen today, make sure you subscribe to the channel to get more information on swing dancing, swing music, and swing history. I will see you in the swing out class below.